principles. Trendy friends, newcomers, everybody. What's up? This is your girl, my Trendy, and I'm here to do a quick, quick, super quick update on this hair and just tell you guys how the process has been going. It's been two weeks. All I've been doing is wetting it in the morning and going about my day, buying it occasionally. Um, I don't know if I told you guys this in my other videos, but I am not the girl that wraps her hair every night. I should be, but I am not. So, when I tell you that a hair is holding up, honey, I best believe it. So, right now I just have it in a little thumb bun. Two weeks in. And what I love about this hair is that it just looks so natural, even though it's like, not wetted down, melted down, anything. Like if I just pull it apart, it just looks like it's my hair and I was in a rush this morning. So it's like cute. So it's still easy to manage even with all of this going on. My fingers don't have a problem going through the curls and not so easy to take out, no shedding. And a small amount of grape seed oil in my um, in my water bottle. Shake it up, spray it down, just like you saw in my first video. So now that it's at the two week mark, I am ready to take her out. So stay with me and I'll show you exactly how I get this lace that seems to not wanna go nowhere off. To remove your lace, you'll need two ingredients, a cheap, but thick oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil that I got from the dollar store, honey. And I'm using a hair polisher and things like this, it just helps to release the bond, you'll see. So what you'll do is pull back all your hair, all the old wig, pull it all back so you can have your perimeter exposed and you just tie it back get it out the way taking a cotton round and I am going to drench this cotton round and olive oil so now it's nice and moist and wet go in and I'm just gonna dab it dab 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 making sure I got all the oil Okay, so that step is done. Now we'll take our hair polisher and spray. Directly where we need it. And now we're just gonna rub it. And this is just showing you that it's coming and done, but it needs to basically cook like this for about 20 minutes. I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back more oilier than ever. So it's been about 30 minutes and all I'm going to do is just give it a little pull. I'm not forcing anything. So if I'm having trouble, I take a paper towel. This is a sturdy, strong paper towel. More olive oil. And if anyone's giving me trouble, I'm gonna apply oil. So the wig is up. We're being gentle now to the toys. And I'll just show you guys what's going on with that. Now we have the cap. I pull it forward this time. See how it's gonna caught. 
take it like between the oil and rub it down. See that? We don't want that. See how it's still stuck? I will not pull. Now we're coming somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm just rubbing my fingers back and forth on the oil. If you look closely, you can see me rubbing my fingers together, and that is how I'm using the oils and the product that I put on before to loosen the bond. It's slowly sliding off, taking some hairs with it. At this point, I'm like, just take them because I'm frustrated. Okay. Ooh, we chop. So now I'm going to show you the loss. We did lose a couple hairs, but not many. I ain't mad about it. And here I am. So now I'm gonna go and wash my hair and the wig. And I'll show you guys. I still have my baby hair. <laughs> Before I go in and wash it, I just take a paper towel and try to get off the glue as much as possible. I'm going to do the same process when the water is on it, but right now, because of the oil, I'll turn the wig inside out. Because of the oil, the glue is really malleable. And I'm able to slide a lot of it off. And even sometimes with my fingers. Now I have a rag with shampoo on it. I already started, but I forgot that I needed to record it. So I'm coming in with the rag with the, um, shampoo and I just kind of pull it forward so see what this glue is and this is warm I'm grabbing it and pulling it forward Don't forget to grab the clumps out so it doesn't make problems for you when you wash it. There's just little small pieces of glue. This for example. And it's pretty much like a pinching motion, but I'm pinching it down. Y'all are very smart people, so I know you got it. Now moving on to the wash. 
Oops, the last one. Chef's kiss. Mwah. This is the hair freshly washed and conditioned. It is so beautiful and curly and soft. So I started off using this brush and it was just like, okay. It was just like, okay. So then I got this, which was made for curly hair and it was just gliding through it. Thank goodness. I'm sure all my trendsetters know, but make sure you start from the bottom and work your way up. Oh my goodness, I went off on my wig for too far. <sighs> anyway, it's just like really silky, guys. Do you see this? Are you looking? Okay, that's how I feel on myself. Like I was going to go somewhere. Okay, it looks like I pulled my my wig back a little bit. You guys, this video is coming to an end, and of course I love the hair, and you guys should cop if you get opportunity to. But also, this is my first post of the year, and I'm just so excited, you guys. Um, if you want me to stop slacking, just comment that, and maybe that will inspire me a little bit more to stop doing that. But also, while you're thinking about what to comment, Tell me what you think about the hair. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you need more of it? Do you think I should try to find different hair store wigs? Let me know. Trendy out.